What is going on everybody? So if you guys have been watching some of the more recent tournaments, in particular the Salary Cap Club Series tournaments, and you guys will probably have noticed there's been a rise in the popularity of the new Bunch Quads offense, in particular with Michael Vick at quarterback and using that QB draw out of the formation. Now that seems to be pretty effective. Point Spread used it very effectively in the Bills Club Series where he ended up winning the championship. And you saw it on display if you guys watched the Miami Dolphins Club Series championship from MG Gusto in his first round game. He basically ran all over his opponent with Michael Vick. His opponent had no answer for it. And then he ran into Blocky in the championship game. And Blocky did a much better job at caging it. 14 carries for 36 yards, I think, throughout the game for Michael Vick. So Blocky definitely put it in a box. So I just kind of wanted to go over kind of how Blocky approached it schematically since I'm sure this offense will be catching fire, especially in Mutt with Michael Vick. So the first thing to note how Blocky approached it is he came out nickel 335 normal and he was running a lot of Tampa 2, which has that stock cornerback blitzing off of the edge. Now something important to note is that this is a QB draw, right? So you have bunch quads, so the player cams are in the way, but you have three receivers bunched up right here, and then there's another receiver off the screen all the way to the right. So you have four receivers on the right side. So what a lot of players want to do out of this play is they want to take the snap, and they just want to get the edge, especially with someone like Michael Vick. They want to snap the ball, and they just want to go out wide, and try to get big plays, get Michael Vick in space, you know, juke, spin, make you look silly, and try to go 80 yards for a touchdown. You know, they have no desire to go up the middle, especially with someone like Michael Vick, and try to navigate through all that traffic. So, first and foremost, you have to cut off what your opponent wants to do the most. So, knowing they want to go out wide, Blocky goes with the Tampa 2 out of the nickel 335, and he makes sure that, once again, this nickel cornerback is behind the player cam, but there's a nickel corner you know, probably about right there on the screen. And he's going to be blitzing off the edge. And what you're going to see is that because of the fact that this is a draw play, the three receivers right here that are lined up in this bunch, they don't immediately start blocking. Since for the first one second, one and a half seconds of the play, it's a draw. So they're acting like they're running routes. So they're going out and actually moving up to the second level. So since they're moving up to the second level and not instantly engaging in a block, that nickel cornerback is going to be coming free off the edge and he's not going to get blocked. So that's the first step in shutting down, you know, them wanting to get the edge. That's going to persuade them not to go right. So they're either going to have to try and cut it outside to the left if they still want to go outside, or it's going to force them up the middle of the field and they're going to have to navigate through a lot more traffic. You're going to have a higher chance of guys getting block sheds, especially on your D-line, stuff like that. So that's the first note. Now, another cool thing Blocky did was he was blitzing that cornerback off the edge, and then what he was doing throughout the game, I'm not sure if he did it right here, but another tactic was he was taking this middle linebacker, and so he was getting a hat on a hat, hat on a hat, and then he was getting the nickel cornerback blitzing, but what he was doing was he was moving this linebacker right here on top of the guard, and then he was also blitzing this linebacker. So what would happen is he would occupy the right guard with the middle linebacker, the center would occupy or the uh, defensive tackle, rather, would occupy the center, and then defensive end would occupy the right tackle. So not only would he have the nickel cornerback coming in off the edge, he would have this linebacker either scraping in through the B-gap or scraping in through the outside. So you'd have two guys coming free from the area where you know your opponent wants to go in. And so that was forcing... Uh, you know, MG Gusto to take it up the middle, and he was getting a lot of good block sheds from his defensive tackle. Salary cap, a lot of people don't put a lot into their offensive lines, so that opens up the door for, you know, interior block sheds. That's exactly what you want, especially out of a play like this. You want to force them up the middle of the field where they're usually not comfortable in going because the only time they ever have to run there is whenever someone adequately knows how to defend the play. So, what you're going to see here is exactly that. Um, in this case, I don't think Blocky occupies the right guard, but you see at the snap of the ball, you see that cornerback coming off the right edge untouched. So now Gusto can no longer go out to the right. He's got to either go middle or left. Tries to go middle. Blocky gets a block shed from his defensive tackle. He spins into another tackler, loses a yard. So Gusto now goes hurry up. And what you're going to see here, Gusto goes ahead, flips the play. So he knows Blocky has that cornerback blitzing off the right edge. So what you're going to see, Blocky 
instantly realizes this, flips the play of his own, gets that cornerback back over to the left. Gusto knows he does not want to run towards that slot cornerback, flips it again, and what you're going to see, Blocky flips his defense one more time. Gusto actually quick snaps it before Blocky's cornerback can get across, but as you see, Blocky's cornerback still squeaks through the cracks, and he locks it up for another loss of two. So two carries for negative three yards right off the bat for Gusto. And that was pretty much the story of the game. A blocky had that QB draw pretty much in a box for the majority of the game. Like I mentioned, 14 carries for 36 yards uh, throughout this championship matchup in which blocky ended up winning. So if you guys are running into that run online, I'm sure it seems like it's definitely the hottest up and coming offense as of right now. So I'm sure you guys probably will see it at some point. These are some key notes to keep in mind. You want to blitz off the edge. You want to force them up the middle with that run where they're not comfortable. And then you want to occupy those interior linemen and have guys from the second level scraping in and putting the, the quarterback in an awkward position. So as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.